now we welcome in a man who has worked with dozens of artists singing, songwriting music himself, and has more than 30 charting country singles, singer songwriter, David Lee Murphy. Such a pleasure being with Thank us on Houston Sports Show. Thank you. So talk to us about last year on the CMAs when you were presented the musical event of the year with Kenny Chesney, working with him for Everything's Gonna Be All Right. Congratulations on Thanks. that, by the way. Yeah. Talk to us about uh, receiving that award. It was amazing. Living in Fast Forward was probably the first hit that that I wrote, that Kenny recorded. I went out with him on on his big shows, like his stadium shows, and just just came out and did Party Crowd and Dust on the Bottle, and then we did Everything's Gonna Be All Right together. So glad you brought up Dust on the Bottle and Party Crowd, my personal favorite. Thanks. Um, those took off on your first album that you released, Out With a Bang, I believe mm -hmm. it was, in 95, right. yeah. after releasing uh, the song on 8 Seconds Just the year once. before. Yeah, that's right. So uh, talk to us about why was it so, how was it writing those songs? Uh, Dust on the Bottle, how did that come to you, and why do you think it took off the way that it did? I wish I knew how all of them come, because I would just keep doing it. You know? <laughs> but I, I don't know. Just Once was off the 8 Seconds soundtrack, and for everybody remembers that was about Lane Frost and um, so that was really cool and then Party Crowd came out and that was like the big honky-tonk you know song that was just a blast to go out and play every night and then we came with Dust on the Bottle after that so that that little time period was just a fun 90s country rocking time period and speaking about that and like decades of time and how how uh, music kind of evolves and changes is that something that you follow or is it more sticking with this is what I know and this is kind of this is my style I've written songs for Florida Georgia line and you mm -hmm. know Kenny and Luke and Jason and um, you know different guys yeah, like keep that. naming so them just, you, you got I mean, tons. <laughs> just, so I mean it runs the gamut you know you came out to Nashville really loving that southern rock sound mm -hmm. like Leonard Skinner and ZZ Top still do and you still do yeah. uh, so you wanted to create more of that rockabilly music but Nashville said no, and yeah. you kind of took a turn and were like, okay, I'm going to start writing, and that's kind of where everything evolved, is that right? Yeah, Talk it, about that. I mean, that, that time period in Nashville, that was like the 80s, you know, that was the early, middle 80s, and it was, you know, Kenny and Dolly and, you know, um, Barbara Mandrill and Conway, great artist, you know, great, great country music, and I was doing rough, shaggy, rocking kind of country, you know, outlawy kind of stuff you know of course there was Waylon and Willie and those guys at that time too but um, it's just that time period you know they weren't going I, and I was I was really young too so um, it just nobody gave me a record deal so I just kept trying and trying and eventually you know uh, came up with kind of like the concept of just once and my out with a bang album now when you're writing songs for yourself or other artists is there wh what's the place that you go to is there somewhere that you go or is it just something like oh i'm thinking of this let me sit down and start writing such as whenever you have the party songs like the only way i know that uh, jason aldean recorded or more of the solemn like sweet love songs like last shot that mm -hmm. kit moore recorded right. Uh, where where's your go to where's your go to place whenever you do? Write I think I just music. think about all those you know all those bars I've played in all those fairs and rodeos and honky tonks and now working with so many different artists and then writing your own music and singing your own songs. How does that come about? Does an artist come to you and say, "Hey, I want this type of song," or are you writing and you're like, "You know what? I can hear Keith Urban singing this, or I can hear Blake Shelton." How does that work for both, you? Both. Both. Yeah. I mean, sometimes uh, I'll write with somebody and they go, man, I want a really rocking kind of fun, up-tempo song. Or somebody will say, I want a, I want a 90s style country song, you know. And, and then uh, sometimes we just write songs like, are you going to kiss me or not? We just mm. wrote, we wrote that song. Let's talk about life on the road because you said that you're coming off 16 hours being on tour. What, what has the tour life been like this year? Oh, we've had a ball. We did a little tour with Jake Owens. We played Fourth of July at Baton Rouge. You know, I How mean, fun we, is that? we love we we just love to go all over the country and you know meet people and play music and that's just that's why we all play music. Mm -hmm.